All right. So in this problem, I'm actually going to prove that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. So I have, I'm going to first actually start with 0 is equal to 0. And this is obviously a true statement. Any number is equal to itself. Now, for my left-hand side, I'm going to rewrite the 0 as 20 minus 20. Because, well, anything by itself is 0. And now for my right-hand side, I'm going to rewrite the 0 as 25 minus 25. And this is obviously legal because 20 minus 20 is 0, 25 minus 25 is 0. Now, 20 here, this is equal to 4 times 5. So now I can rewrite 20 as 4 times 5 minus, again, 20, I can rewrite as 4 times 5. And for my right-hand side, I'm going to rewrite 25 as 5 times 5. And again, I'm going to rewrite this as 5 times 5. Now, from here, if I factor out 4 from my right-hand side, I get 4 times 5 minus 5. And for my right-hand side, if I factor out 5, I get 5 times 5 minus 5. Now, if I divide both sides by 5 minus 5, well, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I am left with 4 is equal to 5. And 4 is the same thing as 2 plus 2, so I have 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 as well. So I just proved that 4 equals 5 and 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, we obviously know that this is not right. 4 does not equal 5. So where did I go wrong? Well, if you notice over here, I divided both sides by 5 minus 5. Well, we know that 5 minus 5 is 0. So this is the same thing as 4 times 0 is equal to 5 times 0. And if I divide both sides by 5 minus 5, or also 0, well, I can't cancel out 0 and 0 because 0 divided by 0 is not 1. It's undefined. 0 divided by 0 has no definite value. So I can't cancel these out. This is wrong, meaning this is wrong as well and 4 is not equal to 5. This proof is wrong. Alright, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. So I want to find the value of x. Oops, sorry. I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now from here, because there are 4 4 to the power of x's on my left hand side, I'm simply going to factor out 4 to the power of x. So I have 4 to the power of x times. Now 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, if I simplify some of the parentheses, I get 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1. Now, 4 here, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x plus 1. And this is all equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form, or sorry, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1, meaning I can replace 1 here with 4 to the power of 0. So now I have 4 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 4 to the power of 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, is equal to a to the power of n. This means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a simple equation to solve. All I have to do is subtract 1 on both sides. 
and I get x is equal to negative 1. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So I again start with 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. And now I'm going to factor out 4 to the power of x again. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now I have 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1. And now this time, instead of multiplying these two, I'm actually going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4. Now 1 over 4, that's the same thing as 4 to the power of negative 1. And if I have something in form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to negative 1. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 0. So I want to find the value of x in this problem. So for my solution here, first start with 2 to the power of x is equal to 0. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 0. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, then I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x. And I can actually move x to the front. So it's going to equal x times log 2, which is equal to log 0. Now, I obviously want to isolate x here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out. And now I have x is equal to log 0 over log 2. Now log 0, this is actually undefined. And log 2, this is 0 0.301. Now, if something's undefined and it's divided by a number, then the result will also be undefined as well because you can't divide an undefined value with another number, meaning the value of x is undefined. And also, if you look here, you can't actually take the power of a number and make it equal to 0 because no matter what power you take, a number cannot equal zero. So undefined is my answer.